Hey guys, this is Rosie and welcome to my channel, The Stylish Sicilian. Have you ever wondered where some of your Nordstrom returns go to? Especially the ones that are worn or damaged or outdated because of favorable and generous return periods? Me too. Let me introduce you to Nordstrom's secret outlet. And no, it's not Nordstrom Rack. It's Last Chance. There's only two locations, one here in Illinois and one in Arizona. It's a little difficult to actually find the store itself. You actually have to look in Nordstrom's locations on their websites or on Nordstrom Rack's locations on their website. So it's kind of secret. You can literally find anything from Gucci heels to good American jeans. You can even probably find yourself a good pair of Louboutins. Trust me, I've tried, but that day just hasn't come yet. The good news is not everything seems super used or damaged. Actually, some of the things seem brand new. Like I've checked and I've tried. I consider it to be a bit of a Nordstrom thrift shop. You just never know what treasure you're gonna find. But when you do go, you have to go in with a strategy. You can't go in thinking you're gonna get something very specific. You have to go in and just say, let me see what finds me. So you go in and you pick a section that you wanna go to. You could see a few clips I'll have in this video here about of, of how large it really is. There's just racks and racks and racks of clothes down from you know women's clothing to men's clothing to children's clothing and shoes like you can't believe how many racks of shoes uh but it's pretty wild in there but there is a little section that's a little designer corner that is very is like roped off you cannot go in if there's too many people i believe they only let like five people in at a time but the trick is if you go on the weekends it's going to have the longest line so you do need to go at a certain time the best time I find is in the mornings on the weekdays because they do get new things in every day. And when that happens, people flock to the store because they want to be the first. So go in the mornings during the week because not as many people can do that. I decided that for this video, I was going to challenge myself to see what and how much I could get for $100. I want to see how far that 100 could stretch across shoes, clothes, accessories, dresses, um, especially because I do have a trip coming up this summer that I could use a couple good things for. And I am balling on a budget, so last chance is for me. And when I tell you I tried to spend $100 there, I really tried. I went like two times. And to be honest, I didn't even hit $100 and I got a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you everything I got. I'm gonna give you a running tally, what I paid and what the retail price is. The good news is some of these items are still available to purchase at Nordstrom and other retailers. So whatever is still available, I'll link below for you to see and purchase if you'd like. I do wanna point out, not everything is super cheap. You literally could get something that's $2,000, $500, but those are gonna be like designer items. Like you could buy probably, I think I found a pair of Valentino jeans for I'm sure it's probably like 50% off the retail price. So you can still spend a lot, but if your budget's a little different and you're willing to spend that kind of money on the discount price and not the retail price, this place is still good for you. All right, let's go check out what I bought. So I got two bag fulls of fun stuff that I found. I'm gonna go ahead and share with you what is in these bags. So we're gonna start with these 14th and Union sandals. So these, as you can tell, they don't seem used at all. Okay, and there's your price, $6.97. Now the original price of these, I couldn't find them anymore at Nordstrom, but I did some Poshmark sleuthing and some sellers of these have said that it's either 35 to $45. So that's a pretty good savings to $6.97. And then there's this BP eyelet dress. Okay, so this one is $7.97. OG price, $49. Just to show you, there's literally nothing wrong with it. Like nothing that I could see. There isn't any like original tags, but again, maybe it was past the return period. They don't have this in stock anymore, but they do have a similar one. So I'm going with it's out of season, but we'll see how fun this looks on. Okay, this is another, there was like a good amount of BP stuff and I wasn't gonna just buy anything just to buy it. I thought I'd buy stuff that actually caught my eye. So I kind of leaned towards BP apparently, but here's a BP top. Um, this one is $4.97 and this one retails for $29. This is also no longer on the website, but I'll show it to you. Nothing seems wrong with it. So, I mean, that's really cute with a pair of jeans. I love it. So that's a pretty good savings. For, to precise reference, this is a small. 
I got pretty much everything in this long. So I got the ribbed tank dress from BP. They don't have this in stock anymore, but they have a one, like a version of this that's very similar. And this is like a very versatile dress. So this one I got for $4.97. Currently there's a version of this on the website. It just has like a slit and it's really pretty much the same. And it's $45. So from $45 to $4.97. And again, nothing on here that seems like it's been even worn. There's not like deodorant marks, nothing. I'll bring it closer for you to see, but like, you could probably even tell on camera that the black is still pretty good and like good condition. It's not like a worn out, so I don't even think somebody like bought it and like washed and dried it, but I'm definitely gonna be washing and drying these just in case. You should do that anyways. They had a whole section of Quay. Is that how you say it or is it way? <laughs> I'm gonna call it Quay. Um, they had a whole Quay section of sunglasses that were like $11.97. They're actually still available online to purchase. I don't know if I saw them at Nordstrom or Quay's direct website, but they were $65 to $75. So they gave me the bag, so they were kind of just thrown in there. So they're a little scraped up, but doesn't look scratched, just looks kind of dusty. So I'm gonna spruce them up, buff them up. But for 11 bucks, I mean, come on. Can you tell? <laughs> I think for 11 bucks, I would buy these over and over again. But yeah, what a savings. Such a killing. Okay. I usually look for like brands that I know, right? Because that's, you want to find a brand that you could save a lot of money on. But I spotted these and I just kind of noticed the quality. And I don't know, I'm a sucker for leather. So I kind of could tell just from my eye that they seem like they would be, and they are. So they're these Monroe sandals. Now, I'm most excited about these because these are still on Nordstrom's website and they're listed as new. So I don't understand how that happened. I'm assuming these might have been worn. I mean, you tell me. Do these seem worn to you? They probably, I almost wonder if they wore them like once, but I can't even tell because with leather, that worn in look actually is like what it's supposed to look like. But okay, you're gonna, your jaw will drop when I tell you the price. So I got these for $14.97. Nordstrom currently is selling them for $170. What? <laughs> How does that even happen? But I'm so excited that I got these. So these were probably the best deal that I got. All right, guys, the last one I thought was so pretty and I'm a big fan of this brand. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with Lulu's, but if you ever need like a wedding dress or something or not a wedding dress, but if you ever need a dress for a wedding or some kind of event, that's usually my go-to but they have the prettiest gown. I mean, hello, look at this. Let me if I can get it right. It doesn't look like much right now maybe, but on it was a glove. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with it. My theory is somebody wore it once and then turned it because I'm sure so many people do that because Nordstrom has the most generous return policy, but um, I don't care. So this one was $30.97. Okay, and for reference, I couldn't find this dress anywhere except on Poshmark and I was seeing it from anywhere from $80 to hundred. So I'm going to average it at 90, but what a saving. So 30 bucks, 31, you round up. So we're going to go ahead and try these on so you can just see like how they look on. Outfit number one, I put a few of the pieces together because it just made sense, but um, I have the Quay sunglasses on. These were $11.97. Yes. And then I have the BP dress on that was $4.97 and the Monroe shoes on, which were $14.97. So I'll just show you the sunglasses on their own. So I buff them up. I mean, come on, they're fine. <laughs> what a good deal, right? Um, and then here I have the rib dress and you can see it's like above the knee, but I love it. I'm a sucker for dresses like this because I have a lot of lazy moments, but I do want to feel like I tried. So, I mean, all I had to do was put on a cute necklace and it looks like I tried. <laughs> so, um, but this one's really versatile. So you could wear it like as a regular, just dress out and about. You can use it as a cover up um, for the beach or the pool. Um, I don't know, it's just so easy. Um, so you, I feel like you always need something like this in your closet anyway. So for like basically five bucks, I'm not gonna complain. So there you go. Um, and I'm gonna link this dress that is currently a Nordstrom, but it's like a different version of it. It just has like a slit right here, but it's still ribbed material and it's BP. So it's gonna be basically the same thing. Now the winner here, the winner is these Monroe shoes. Like I'm now a fan. Hello Monroe, I never heard of you until today, but now I'm gonna be looking at your stuff. I'm gonna start following you on Insta. But these are really nice because they're actually leather. So they kind of have like, they just kind of move with my foot. They, they're not hard, they're not stiff. They're just like a nice material. I'm such a sucker for that kind of like raw leather material. And I mean, these are $170 online, so they better feel like a million bucks. So they do, and I really recommend it. Like 
I'm going to start checking out their stuff because I just think that the quality that I'm feeling right now is amazing. So obviously I got it on a, at a good price, but I do think it's a good investment. If you need to invest in a pair of like solid black shoes that you know are going to last you a long time, that would be when I would spend $170. So just think of that. And they're a classic design, so they don't seem very trendy, which yeah, that's what you need to invest in is like classic pieces into your closet. So I don't know. I, I love this whole outfit. I give it an A. <laughs> hey guys, we have another outfit. This time I paired two things. So this is the BP Eyelet white little dress. This one I got for $8. Retails for $49. <laughs> so, and I found a version of it on Nordstrom's website. It's a little different. It doesn't have like the buttons, but I'll link it so that you can shop that if you want something similar. And then I have the 14th and Union gold sandals. So these I got for $7. And according to Poshmark, they retail for anywhere from like $35 to $45. But these again, they have like brand new bottoms. Like nothing seems actually worn in here so i feel like i lucked out with this set and the eyelet dress is very pretty like you know i've tried on other ones that cost so much money and for this price i mean you cannot beat it you get nordstrom quality for eight dollars i mean if somebody wore this once who cares <laughs> it's good to recycle clothing you know i think that that's a good habit to get into like even going on poshmark sell your clothes buy your clothes there's nothing wrong with that like i always feel like there's such a weird stigma like to selling your clothes or buying used clothes you're helping the planet so i think that's a great thing and you know so nordstrom's is doing a good job with like at least finding a way to profit and still sell these items even if they are a little used or damaged or just I don't know returned over <laughs> because of a generous return period but um I think it's like a really good set a really good deal I could really see myself wearing this in Italy and just walking around I mean that's these shoes are crazy comfortable sometimes I wonder if the shoes are just super uncomfortable and that's why they end up there but these are definitely not I mean it's got like a good stretch it's really like comfortable and has a lot of room so if you have like a wider foot too I think you would have been fine with this but I don't know guys another A for me <laughs> what do you think guys this is another BP top um it's a one shoulder and it I got it for $4.97 it normally retails for $29 uh, this is not one that is still available at Nordstrom's but um they always have similar something like this so if I find some I'll link them for you I was really hoping to find a good pair of like good American jeans and I did find some, but they weren't on my side. So I just put on a pair of jeans that I already had and I put the 14th and Union shoes with it. But just to give you a little reference about like how I would wear this, so you can see, sorry, I'm a little poor, but um, come on, so easy. <laughs> I love these kind of colors. I think in the summer, they really look cute, especially with a nice tan and you add some more colorful elements, but um, yeah, for $4.97 instead of 29 bucks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sure I've said, oh my gosh, a bunch in this video. But that's how I feel after I shop there because I just can't believe it. It's like thrifter is like heaven. <laughs> and so I do like a good thrift. So, but yeah, what do you guys think? Is this a good one for $4.97? If you say no, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, this is another win for me. I'm a big fan. And honestly, there's nothing really wrong with it. I thought maybe like the stretchy like part, the stretchy string in here would maybe be like looser, but it's it's not but just to give you a close-up here you are yeah it's good to go you know you could go anywhere with this kind of top but yeah throw it on with a pair of jeans and some flats you know go have some fun this summer <laughs> you guys are you ready for the last one <laughs> i thought i'd save the most fun to look at for last <laughs> so i'm a very big fan of lulu's it's always a place i would go to shop for new year's weddings um and nordstrom actually carries lulu's so when i found this one i knew i had to take it home with me even though i have nothing on the horizon for this <laughs> but i know i will this is a lulu's gown just to give you a further look but like guys i definitely need some shapewear but look at the back it literally is a glove and i'm gonna tell you i spent 30 dollars on it so i know lulu's is not like really expensive expensive but it's still pretty pricey if you want like a nice gown i looked online i could not find this one so i don't think it's for sale anymore anywhere not in nordstrom's and not at lulu's but um according to poshmark this one should average about 90 bucks if you get it from there so i saw some say that it was 80 or 100 so but <laughs> ignore my terrible tan i literally got sunburned like a month ago and it's not going away okay I mean, I I know I have a wedding at some point, right? But um, I'll just find a reason to wear this. But it has nothing wrong with it. There's no pilling, nothing, um, no strings really pulling from any part. I mean, I don't know, for 30 bucks, put it in the closet. <laughs> You'll need it. But um, I'll try to give you like a close up. So let me turn here and I'll try to do another. It's just kind of like right at my feet. So if you put like two, you know, just 
three inch, four inch heel should be pretty cute. I don't know, which one was your favorite so far, guys? Like, I don't, I don't know which one I like the most. I think I like, well, this one. <laughs> it's probably my favorite. And then I'm probably the black one because the black one is easy. <laughs> but yeah, what a steal. So last chance, go and get it. I forgot to mention that none of these items are refundable. So once you go to last chance, you cannot bring them back. So make sure you check the quality, make sure that you have the same shoe size for both shoes because that has happened to me. And you know that there's nothing too wrong with it that you just can live with or can live without. But keep that in mind. Did you guys think I was done? I actually have a little surprise for you. If you guys helped me reach a thousand subscribers, I decided to give away a pair of Christian Dior sunglasses that I got at last chance recently. I mean, how cute. If you guys are watching and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and help me reach a thousand subscribers. And please comment below if you are excited about it, if you're hoping to win, and I'll be looking out for you guys.